July has been focused in our missions for the month on the Adopt a South African Preschool project that uh, some of us are involved with. Actually, the church really helped to launch it uh, back in its earliest moments uh, in early 2018, or fall of 2018 is kind of the seed point. But here we are now, and I want to tell you about something that took place just in the last week. A lot of planning has gone on the part of this program in South Africa into creating a new preschool hub. We got a big donation from somebody who has nonprofits um, in another part of the world, and that money was used now to make a new preschool hub. So I'm going to tell you about it. Nearly every day for the last two weeks, I've received photos before and after pictures and videos showing the renovation of something called the Fenyo Preschool. Fenyo is in a township in Nelmapius, outside of Pretoria. This project is a collect collective uh, effort between Adopt a South African Preschool, the Penn Forum, which is a large social service nonprofit in that area, has 150 full-time staff with one of their three emphases on preschool education. And also the preschool itself, the um, non-denominational black church that is on the property, preschools on the property of that church, and also Stella Strat Church, which is a white congregation, Dutch Reformed, in Pretoria, where most of our South African ASAP team worship. So a whole group involved in the planning of this and negotiations and the setup. And this week, the renovations were finished. Now, Mapius is a township which was set aside like uh, at least 50 other townships during the decades of apartheid to keep whites and blacks segregated. But in townships, although there are huge needs and entrenched poverty, there is much goodwill and a willingness on the part of the people living there to improve their own circumstances. There are about 50 creches or in-home daycares in the surrounding area of Fenyo in a six mile radius. In these settings, 20 to 40 children are often just sitting in front of a TV all day while their mothers are working or begging or looking for work. Caregivers try to provide two meals a day, very, very basic. Uh, but there are no parks, there are no playgrounds, there are no toys, there are no resources. And in addition, the caregivers typically have no training. So there's no possibility for them to give a solid foundation for education. Nevertheless, children born into poverty anywhere in the world are like children everywhere in the world. Their bodies, their minds, their spirits are fully primed to learn through play. The Fenyo School and the adjacent church are going to serve as a hub, a preschool hub for these surrounding in-home, informal daycares. This building will have now a toy resource library to um, have toys that will then be available to be borrowed by the caregivers who will be trained in what these toys actually do for one's development. And there'll be at least 1,500 children a year receiving benefit from this uh, Fenyo Preschool with the toy library and the training that will go on. Now to transform Fenyo into a preschool hub and training center, repairs included a total overhaul of the roof, new doors, painting, carpeting, and on Wednesday, a whole group of people involved in the project went there and my inbox again exploded with pictures and comments and videos from all different quarters about what this really meant. Uh, one of the South African team members summed it up this way. He wrote, uh, or he said in a video, the dream is that the children of this area can get the educational foundation to qualify for productive jobs and eventually lift themselves and their families out of poverty. And this is all because God brought people together from different countries, the USA and South Africa, from different races, different languages, different economic backgrounds, and made them channels of God's love for the least and the marginalized of society.